All right. This is Chris Fossey once again, and let me get someone very special for this video, guys. Hold on. Okay, here we go. As you can tell by what I'm holding, I watched Chucky last night, the season 2, episode 2, and it was pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to be holding him for the length of the review. I just wanted to get him out real quick so you guys can... Because it's a Chucky theme video, might as well have Chucky in the shot. And speaking of Chucky and the doll, next Thursday I'll be holding Glenn, my paper doll, which you guys will see the reason why when I get to it. But it picks up a little bit from the from the first episode. They are Jake, Lexi, and um, uh, what's his name, Devin, are. At the Catholic school, and it opens up with them at the Catholic school, and we get a new character, which is this little girl with glasses and like curly hair. She's basically looks his roommate because you got Devin and Jake in one room, and then Lexi and the girl in the other room. I forget her name, the girl, but and Chucky gets shipped off to um to the Catholic school. And uh, and chaos ensues. Now, I did really like this episode. The one thing I don't like about it is the way they treat Nika. Because we get two different stories in this episode. We get we get the kids, and then we get Jennifer Tilly. Or, yeah, Jennifer Tilly, aka okay, Tiffany, and um, uh, Nika. I'm pissed because Nika still has no arms or legs. She's wearing a tutu. She's basically treating her like a fucking sex doll. Like an actual life human <laughs> sex doll. Which is hilarious on paper. But when it's Nika, it's kind of messed up. She, it's, it is kind of funny. Some scenes are kind of funny where she's giving her like a bib. And has like a bonnet on and stuff. And she's feeding her. Which she can't feed herself. So, whatever. And there's a scene where she's has like something in her mouth to keep her... To sh to shut her up, and she turns back, and then you know how Nika and Chucky are in the same body. Well, it actually shows both of them in one in one shot, both in um one scene, which because they're teaming up with each other to get rid of Tiffany. So that was a pretty cool side, pretty cool, pretty cool side plot, which I hope that goes somewhere near the future of the episodes. In this episode, by the way, we get an Idle Hands reference, which is pretty cool. And Devin Sawai himself says, the Idle Hands are a devil's playground, which I like that. <sighs> now, of course, we got the man himself, Chucky, and he is good as always. He does do the thing where he scares the crowd of a nun, falls over a chair, gets a heart attack, and dies. He's, a, he's like, I'm Chucky, wanna pray? You really thought that was a good line, didn't you? Um, let's see what else happens. Uh, there's a very sad and very emotional scene where Jake breaks down because of all the things that happen, and um, Devin comforts him, which I thought was a pretty sweet and cute scene. And Jake's actor is doing really good. He is my favorite out of the three kids. I like Devin. I kind of like Lexi in a way, but that but Jake is my favorite. Other than Chucky, of course. But um, we keep throughout this episode, we keep getting teased whether Glenn and Glenn is going to show up, and it keeps being this detective guy who's looking for Nika. And guess what? Tiffany slits his throat. Which looked cool. It's a cool effect, but it was kind of like, what the fuck? Why that happen? Um, so, you, two kills in one episode, which is pretty cool. Um, Chucky, there's a scene where Chucky is taking pictures of the kids, like, one picture of Lexi, Jake, and Devin, um, to frame them, I guess. Um, let's see what else happens. He, um, I'm sorry, this doll is really fucking heavy. But, um, 
uh, Tiffany's watching one of her, one, watch, is watching Liar Liar, which I had my finger on my dashboard, but she's watching Liar Liar. That was, that was, that was a funny reference as well. Um, there's, like I said, Chucky's taking pictures of different people. He's trying, like I said, he's trying to find them, I guess, is what I, is what I said. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there. And we're seeing where, where Jake's flipping through the phone and Chucky's, like, giving, like, he he's doing all those kind of things in that pit and that and photos. Um, and it ends, of course, abruptly with Glenn and Glenda actually arriving. And the funny thing is, when Glenda and Glenda comes into the house, you see the backs of them, but you don't see their faces. I thought, I thought it was weird because you usually. usually in the trailer, they actually show what they look like, so I, under, I don't understand why they didn't show them in the episode, but I guess we'll find out in part in episode 3, which I will be doing a review on next next Thursday, and I'll have Glenn. I'll be holding Glenn, so yeah. So, Chucky, um, this episode was pretty cool, so yeah, let me set him down, because he's tired of being held. Sitting in his chair... Watch him fucking, watch him move right behind me on fucking camera. Look at that. How creepy is that? But yeah, I get, I get this episode of a, a good seven out of ten. I, I enjoyed it. We still don't know what happened to Andy or Nika or N Andy or Kyle. Some people are saying Andy died. I don't believe that. Unless to see it actually happen in the episode, so I hope he didn't get killed because that pissed me off. But I guess we'll find out, right, Chucky? So, what did you think of Chucky episode two? Let me know in the comments below. By the way, before I close out, there's a scene because that was always in this episode, right? I forgot to mention the scene where he locks Jake into a bathroom, and where he needs to use the bathroom, and he gets caught trying to kill Chucky. And he basically goes into this room where a bunch of toys, and that when someone locks him in there with a Bible and with a doll, that was a weird scene. I, I don't know why they, I don't know why he did that. That was weird, but I don't know. So with that said, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And my name is Chucky, and I approve this message.